I'm Austin. Uh, I'm going to be reading from Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. It's a really big part of my childhood, and I'm sure it was part of your childhood or adulthood as well. <laughs> no worries. Uh, this book was banned um, in the Midwest and in parts of the UK for promoting witchcraft. Um, even though it's a work of fiction, we were promoting witchcraft with Harry Potter. <laughs> hate it when that happens. Uh, and it was also deemed to be too dark for children to process and understand those sorts of situations. But here we are today. Uh, I'll be reading from the first chapter when Harry Potter is dropped off on the door of his relatives and his saviors have to say goodbye to him. Dumbledore took Harry in his arms and turned toward the Dursley's house. Could I, could I say goodbye to him, sir? asked Hagrid. He bent his great shaggy head over Harry and gave him what must have been a very scratchy, <clears throat> whiskery kiss. Then suddenly, Hagrid let out a howl like a wounded dog. Shh, hissed Professor McGonagall. You'll wake the muggles. Sorry, sobbed Hagrid, taking out a large spoot, spotted handkerchief and burying his face in it. But I can't stand it. Lily and James dead, and poor little Harry off to live with the muggles. Yes, yes, it's all very sad, but get a grip of yourself, Hagrid, or the will be found. Professor McGonagall whispered, pant patting Hagrid gingerly on the arm as Dumbledore stepped over the low garden wall and walked to the front door. He laid Harry gently on the doorstep and took a letter out of his cloak and tucked it inside Harry's blankets and then came back to the other two. For a full minute, the three of them stood and looked at the little bundle. Hagrid's shoulders shook. Professor McGonagall blinked furiously and the twinkling light that usually shone from Dumbledore's eyes seemed to have gone out. Well, said Dumbledore finally, that's that. We've got no business staying here. We might as well go and join the celebrations. Yeah, said Hagrid in a very muffled voice. I'll be taking Sirius's bike back. Good night, Professor McGonagall. Professor Dumbledore, sir. Wiping his streaming tears on his jacket, Hagrid swung himself onto the motorcycle and kicked the engine into life. With a roar, it rose to the air and off into the night. I'll see you soon, I expect, Professor McGonagall, said Dumbledore, nodding to her. Professor McGonagall blew her nose in reply. Dumbledore turned and walked down the street. On the corner, he stopped and took out the silver put-outer. He clicked it once, and twelve balls of light sped back to their street lamp, so that privet jive glowed suddenly orange, and he could make out the tabby cat slinking around the corner at the end of the street. He could see a bundle of blankets on the step of number four. Good luck, Harry, he murmured. He turned on his heel, and with the swish of his cloak, he was gone.